Hello and welcome to another Dalaran video, which where the clickbaits go to thrive and die. Anyway, let's talk a little bit about WoW PvP. Now, I'm somebody who enjoys this game tremendously. I am very passionate about this game, and if you've been to my streams in the past, because of the issues that I've been having with WoW, I'm just like, man, this is such a heartbreaking moment, I might have to just stop playing the game, mainly because I literally can't play it. I don't know if that's gonna continue or not, don't know if those personal issues are over with, We'll see as my computer reacts to everything. But let's talk a little bit about World of Warcraft PvP in Legion. Now, they originally sold us Legion as a more balanced system where devs are going to pay more attention into the game and everything that it comes with in terms of PvP. For the longest time, the devs have been balancing classes around the PvE aspect of the game and eventually somehow one way it worked out. Whether you were playing in Warlords, a mop, which are the two uh, newest expansions that came out, they sold Legion with the idea that the PvP is going to be new. They added honor talents, they add, which are uh, to kind of combat the prune that happened in the game, so players have a lot more abilities to mess with. They changed how a lot of classes and specs function in general. They added rewards for, uh, uh, I guess, prestiging, <laughs> as we have the prestige rewards. They added world quests for PvP, they added a lot of PvP content, and a lot of it was promised to be balanced, and they're trying to balance specs, and in particular, all on their own, and they have done... I guess they haven't been perfect, but they've done as best of a job as they could in terms of balancing. Of course, World of Warcraft has never been a game with balance. There's always some kind of a class or even a spec that's shafted while others are reaping the benefits. And from my personal perspective, I don't think I've had that bad of a time with Legion. I mean, it's not the most perfect expansion and the way that rogues were kind of like cucked uh, early on with all the nerfs. It kind of sucked, but as of recent, Legion gave us the bare minimum to perform well in arena PvP. And I'm fine taking the bare minimum. I played a Comet Rogue back in Pandaria. Like, honestly, I just wanted to have the bare minimum. I don't want us to be all too OP. Like, that would be nice if we were just like a Comet Rogue of what? Where we basically were OP. But it's fine if we are not. I'm fine if I am basically have, like, burst once in a blue moon. Completely A-OK -okay with that. Also, I'm enjoying Legion outside of just PvP. I'm enjoying it for the PvE in terms of raids. I'm enjoying it for PvE in terms of Mythic Plus. I'm enjoying playing an Outlaw Rogue, which is basically a change from playing a combat to not playing an Outlaw, where I have this dynamic rotation and playstyle with Roll the Bones, and it's all very exciting. I'm doing my dailies every day, I'm farming that AP, I'm doing as much stuff as I can in the game. I'm actually very much enjoying every aspect, compared to Warlords General, where basically all I did is just PvP. So I'm doing a lot. So these points aren't exactly indicative of what I am experiencing with. These are not exactly all the points that I am agreeing on, I see the validity in all these points, and this is why I'm making a video on it, but I do want to mention that this is not everything that I'm agreeing on 100%, this is not, I don't embody everything that has been said in the video. I do want to talk about the points where people are discussing some of the issues that are happening in the game and PvP wise. So without further ado, let's get into the meat and bones of it all. Let's talk about the meat first. The titles came out recently and they're having some issue so there's like a lot of technical issue with the titles not a lot we can really do or say about that right now but there is an issue with the titles in terms of either the math or how they are awarded so in legion we can say that yeah there's a lot more people playing the game in general right and if there's a lot more people playing the game in general we generally going to have a lot more people trying out the pvp and the pve aspects of the game and if you've been watching the different websites that are out there, which are very, which were trying to very, very hard calculate the uh, titles and the cutoffs for everybody so they could know where they are safe in terms of titles, something went wrong. The titles have gone passed out, well, still getting passed out, but it looks like, and a lot of people are reporting, as well as uh, getting uh, responses from the blues, the devs, that the titles and the way that they were distributed are going to be much, much smaller. And by smaller, I mean like less. And what we are talking about is... We had 50 spots for rank 1 for everybody that played Legion in Arena. In Legion. 50. But in Warlords Jenner, about 250 were eligible for rank 1. So that's what a lot of people are talking about right now. And it's kind of difficult to figure out what is going on. So this is the issue. And this could be, it's like a small, it's like a small thing, right? Oh, okay, so people didn't get the titles, or they thought they were in a safe place. But we do have this weird divide. This expansion where a lot more people are playing, 50. Last expansion, 250. Warlords, like, are you kidding me? Wad? Who? Wad? As an expan- The Wad wasn't even a real expansion. It's kind of like one of these things that are coming out. 
So there's two theories to this. Uh, the first theory I'm going to lay it on you is a very, very simple one. Blizzard's math in terms of how they decide to redistribute titles this season is off. So there's a lot of miscommunication between the devs and the players. Because of this miscommunication be between the devs and the players, it is really difficult for people to decide which uh, which class they want to play, which comp they want to play, what they want to play, how they want to approach the game to know what they need to do in order to reach the titles they want. So if the devs didn't state it clear that you know the percentiles for arenas are going to be different, then nobody really knows where they are at or where they should be. So people are using third-party sites that are trying to find the best numbers in terms of the calculating everything. But that is all people are doing and that's all we can do. And if Blizzard got their math wrong, well then there's a big miscommunication in terms of how they want it to be planned out. So then it's really a, a, an issue with them and they should state it clearly because then you're basically telling these people that are grinding their asses off in arenas like a goddamn hooker at a midnight club. Like, you're just trying to figure out where you're going to be at in terms of your rating. You're trying to figure out where you're going to end up. You're trying to get those titles that you really, really want. Maybe even some rewards out of it. Maybe this time you decided to go finally for a challenger and you couldn't get challenged. Maybe this time it was going to be glad and you just couldn't just be tried for glad. You got 2700, but you were just not enough points. Like you were maybe 2702, but the cutoff was like 2782. And you thought it was going to be 2600 and bam, all of a sudden the highest cutoff and you're like, wow, well, I, I just can't do anything. So then it's not transparent. It's not, it's not, it's not well described. It is not communicated well. So that's an issue. And I would say that would be an issue on Blizzard's part. Or a second opinion. Not enough people play in Arena. Arena is supposed to be the pinnacle of PvP. Like this is supposed to be where you go to get rated. Battlegrounds and skirmishes and Ashran, if anybody ever played that are all fun and fine and dandy. They're supposed to be a part of the PvP engagement, and even World PvP is supposed to be fun. But when you're trying to get rated, trying to play the balanced version of the game, trying to play the game full of skill and just trying to show that you have more skill than other players and getting rated on that skill, then arenas would be the pinnacle, which is where most people want to end up at. Like, people can play, uh, let's say, Counter-Strike, for example. They can play casual games, but if they want to play a competitive game, and they feel like they can get competitive with it, they should be able to. That should be the pinnacle. That should be what people are striving for is the aspect of competition. And World of Warcraft as a game, while not perfect, gave a really interesting PvP model in terms of how people can compete against one another. And I can appreciate them for it. But if there's some kind of an issue where people are simply just not queuing, nobody wants to PvP, nobody wants to be the, P the guys PvPing in the arena, which is supposed to be the place where most people should want to end up at, well, then we simply don't have people playing arena. That means nobody is really enjoying the PvP aspect of the game. And then we have a whole nother issue on our hands. People are talking that this game isn't all that great in PvP. I'm having one picture. People are in arenas and forums are talking about another picture. I don't really know. So I'm asking you guys, what are your thoughts on this issue in terms of your thoughts? I want to give you guys opinions on what do you think about Legion PvP? Do you think it's shit or is there some kind of other story here? I'll see you guys in the next one.